This is a young lady who's got a left thyroid lesion and it's been biopsied, it's cystic and complex and it's a large lesion and a suspicious biopsy. So we're doing basically a left hemithyroidectomy mostly for diagnostic reasons. And also uh, she was having some compressive symptoms. So what we're doing now, we just dissected the upper pole of a thyroid, which is very vascular. So we took away all the vessels and we just separating from surrounding tissue so we can identify the recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is a nerve that actually controls her vocal cord movement and her speech. So once we have that found, then we can remove the remainder of the thyroid. We're doing this for a small incision and normal. That's why we have so many retracted stretch in the wound open. Look, she's a young lady. You ready? And I, I'm also using Dr. Onrado's assistance because he's a plastic surgeon in terms of the position of the incision, also closing the incision. After care for the incision, because this lady does not want to have a very noticeable scar afterwards, which we can provide to her. Thank you, Dr. Onrado. She was having dysphagia symptoms. She couldn't swallow. Uh, which was why she was feeling a mass in the neck. This is the nodule here. So pick up speed. So this is the thyroid nodule here. This is the superior pole that we've cut, separated from the surrounding tissue, the vascular supply. And for now, I'm just sort of teasing it out. You know, it's just got a very large gland, but it's a, it's a half of the thyroid. So could I get the, the peanut, please? We're also using something called a Covidian ligature. And the reason we're using it is because it's a minimal invasive technique to separate vessels from surrounding, from each other and dissect vessels and cauterize vessels in a small incision, within a small incision space. Can you flip it over? Scissors, please. This is the whole cyst, this whole cyst, that's a gland right there, that's all there is to a gland. 